Hey guys, Tommy Jordan here. Um, I'm posting this as, I guess, kind of a, a review and also as a, uh, an FYI for those of you that are looking at, into dash cams. Uh, this conversation came up a lot on Amazon and on the manufacturer's website, so I thought I'd kind of give you a video example. Um, I've got a ham radio. Obviously, you, you can see it here. Pardon the light qual quality, but um, the right the right head unit is on the uh, local K4 OGB repeater. The left is on a 146.7875, um, a local channel here, the two meter range. <clears throat> the problem you run it into with the dash cam, and I love this dash cam. This is the Rexing 1.27 inch um, 1080p dash cam. It's amazing. Camera quality is just off the charts. I love this thing. Here's the problem. Every time you fire it up, I get noise on my, my ham. And the problem is, it's just in the frequencies that I tend to use a lot. So I'll turn the volume up. You can hear it. So that's what you get all the time, no matter what. Turn the camera off, it goes away. So, it, you know, n no argument. It's the camera causing it. it happens on uh, a lot of these cameras, apparently. Turn it back on. Interference. I talked to the manufacturer about uh, potentially getting the, uh, you know, tr trying to see if it, if, it, if it was a cabling issue, power issue. Well, long story short, it's got nothing to do with power. I can pull the camera power. As long as the camera is turned on, it's going to get in interference. I can pull this this plug out, take it out of the truck. It, 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 it'll have zero impact on the camera itself. Um, whatever's causing this glitch is it's got to be an oscillator in, in the camera that's resonating on around 147 um, the interference kicks in about 146.550 megahertz and follows up right on through 147.990 at least that's as far as I've tracked it but so there's the problem um, if you'd like to use your ham radio and you happen to operate on the 146 megahertz range or 147 megahertz range keep in mind uh, it might be useless now yes I can move the dash camera about three feet away and the interference stops the problem is there's nowhere to put a dash camera within three feet of the inside of the truck that's not near the head unit you know I need my head unit where I can get my hands on it I want the camera where I can see it um, so having those two things you know both in the cab means they're gonna be less than three feet apart so no fix that I know of. We've tried ferrite connectors. We've tried any number of things. It does not seem to be related to the actual power um, power supply being sent to the camera. It seems to be related to the actual camera's output itself. So again, we'll fire it back up. As soon as we turn it on, the interference kicks back in. Now I can I can scroll my way out of. Let me turn that one down. There it is again. 47 I think around 147 9 it seems to stop you don't get it quite, you don't get it on all the frequencies just some all right so I'm not getting it there at least not today yeah. problem is that's the frequency range my local repeat eaters use so I can either use the dash cam or I can talk on the radio. Can't do both. Anyway, that's my video. If anybody's got any advice, I, and, and, and yes, before you suggest it, if you wrap the camera in tin foil, it does actually stop it. So it's a problem with camera shielding. But I'm not going to wrap my entire camera in tin foil. Uh, I've actually tried it. You had to wrap the entire camera all the way up to the glass uh, to get it to, to shield the effect. So no more ideas for me except just to deal, deal with it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.